What's poppin' people? It's your boy Gary, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing very well and staying safe as well. You guys here right now? We're still locked down, but hopefully, you know, everything will get better for sure. Today's video will show you guys how to do product research without any software tools. That's right, with no software tools. So this is absolutely free. This method I've been using, and I'm still using till today. You understand? I can't be spending money on softwares, but I am going to be investing in a software very soon, but I don't know which one. There's so many out there. I still have to do, you know, my due diligence and find out which one I want to go for. You know what I'm saying? As my business is growing, I need to start, you know, finding better ways to automate certain things. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Before I get into the video, I'll pause this video for five seconds, hit the thumbs up and also subscribe. Now I know you guys liked and subscribed. Let's get into it. There are many websites out there guys for you guys to do online arbitrage on but for this example we're going to be using argus you guys all heard of argus and listen i'm not gonna lie they always have clearances we're in lockdown as well so there's even more clearances so what you want to be doing is go to argus i usually always go to the clearance section because obviously you know the toys are or clearance obviously and we get it for a lot cheaper and what you want to do is you know you can look through the technology home garden toys jewelry watches you know many different categories you can actually literally go in there and i'll show you guys how to do the product research after that so let's get into toys i already have three examples here you know what i'm saying because um it's just easier like that instead of you know just finding the perfect product this that this that so it's just not to waste ever time you get what i'm saying we want this quick and snappy so you just scroll down you find profitable items here I got three examples right here, boom, boom. I'm gonna show you guys why you should get this, why you shouldn't get that item, and maybe this item you could go for, but it's all about your risk. You get what I'm saying? How much risk are you willing to take? So item number one, we found the item, a goose mermaid slime kit, which is perfect. You're thinking, oh shoot, original price 30 is down to six pounds. So you're thinking this is a perfect product, right? You'll scan the item literally through your screen using the Amazon sellers app. You scan it, it will come up with the listing on Amazon. Once you click on it, already straight away on this product, because I already did the research on this product, you will see no sellers rank. Try stay away from any items with no sellers rank. As this shows us that the item is actually selling. You get what I'm saying? This item hasn't sold. Cause, because if it did, it would have a seller's rank, at least in the 500k or 600k. So I'm not sure if this product is going to sell because it has no seller's rank. And I always go off the seller's rank. The lower the seller's rank to one, the better the item sells. So this item is a no-go. You see an item with no seller's rank, do not try to pick it up. Because I'm telling you now, you could maybe make it sell, you get it out of the blue, but always, you know, for 100% guarantee, you want the seller's rank. You know what I'm saying? Just to help you out that you know the item will actually sell eventually. But if it doesn't have it, then you're actually gambling. So you don't know if the item is going to sell. So the Goose Mermaid Slime Kit, no. This item here, ooh, this one here, you guys are probably going to pick up. I'm not going to lie to you. But this is the item I was talking to you about, risk. Are you willing to take the risk? So this is a Chad Valley Auto City Construction Remote Control Digger. And yeah, original price, 50 pounds. Clearance, 15 pounds. You probably figure, yeah, that is beautiful. You scanned it, boom, boom, boom. You see it. Now the item, I've already done this already, guys. The item is already in the 600 seller's rank. So that basically means the item is not it's not selling in volume, but it's selling very slowly. So this doesn't mean it won't sell. It will definitely sell, but it maybe take two, three months. We'll show the error. The profit on this item is huge. So it's all about your risk tolerance. Are you willing to take the risk? You want to buy five of these items, send it to Amazon. And you know, if you can wait for that time period of the item to sell, then you're eating. You're going to make big profits. But if not, then I would say leave this item. I usually always tend to stay 
below the 250k seller's rank. Always. I don't care if the item is 600, 700, 800, I personally do not pick it up. But if you want to, you know, you could. And then we have item number three. Bubble, trouble, door, pineapple, squeeze. I've checked this item. And guys, I'm not going to lie. This one here is a little winner. It's a very nice item. And I checked it. The seller's rank is beautiful. Because I, what I was telling you guys, the lower to one, the better the item sells. This item here, six pounds. Original price was 20 pounds. And on Amazon, it's selling for around 20 pounds. So after profits and everything, you're making a nice amount of profit. A screenshot will be right here. A nice amount of profit. So try find items like this. The one bad thing about this item is there's so many sellers. There's, I think, around 26 sellers on this listing. So the competition is a little bit high. I try to stay below 18, 15. That's, that's what I like to do. You get I'm not trying to compete with people. But that's just part of the game. You never know. Me, I like to be in and out quickly. I like to sell my items quickly and just get out. You ever say? Because I just hate people undercutting, undercutting, undercutting. But that's part of the game. And I don't, I don't know why I just said I hate it, but it's just part of the game. This item here is a very good item, but that's how you would do product research. I know this video is a little short video, but it's, it's very simple, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Try this, maybe one item, two items, three items, and just send it into Amazon and see how it is. Start testing. Because a lot of people aren't afraid to take risk. Take the risk. Trust me. It will alleg you guys will be surprised. That's all guys, man. This is literally how you do product research without any paid software tools. And you just be using the Amazon Sellers app. At the moment, I'm not using no softwares. But soon I will. And once I've mastered that software and actually used it in my own business and it's making me actually a lot of sales, I'll definitely show you guys how to use that software. I hope you guys did take something away from this. You know what I'm saying? A little... It's a little video, it's not too long, not too short, just a little middle. But I hope you guys did enjoy this little value I gave. And then you can implement it today. You know what I'm saying? But guys, listen, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. It's been your boy Gaddy, and I'm out.